Matthias, Gabriella, thanks very much for uh, inviting me here uh, to this uh, event, to this uh, beautiful building with rich history, as I have heard. So, uh, uh, the presentation. Uh, I am uh, from Open Invention Network. Uh, what we do, uh, we have uh, sought for a practical solution uh, to open source community against uh, patent aggression. I would like uh, to put an accent on practical. We are not religious, we are not uh, uh, some kind of uh, sect or whatever. We, uh, we have sought for a practical solution uh, to defend open source and Linux in particular. So very short about myself, uh, uh, my name is Valer again. Uh, I worked uh, for NLNet Foundation uh, for the last uh, seven years. So we have financed uh, open source projects and I've dealt with uh, the dangers uh, of uh, being sued. Even the projects can be sued by, uh, by trolls or uh, monopolists in the market. So that's why I've decided to, to help uh, Open Invention Network. So, uh, Linux and more open source. Uh, we, I don't have to advocate uh, open source here. You, uh, you know all about it, uh, that it reduces costs, improves functionality, and all this kind of stuff. But the most important thing is uh, the freedom of innovation. That's what we get from open source. But now to realities. Uh, so uh, what are the current realities? Uh, software patents. You see here that uh, the number of uh, software patents is growing, but that's more or less linear. That's uh, intact with uh, the other patents. Uh, the number of patents is growing, and so is uh, the number of uh, software patents. Nothing uh, ridiculous here. But the next slide is, uh, well, the well-known uh, hockey stick. Uh, the number of uh, patent suits is growing exponentially in the last years. So uh, the number of patents is growing uh, linearly, but uh, the number of uh, uh, lawsuits uh, is growing uh, uh, very hard uh, last time. So uh, what, uh, what is the solution to that? Uh, well, oh yeah, that's, uh, that's a good one. The Stanford University from America has estimated that the amount of patent uh, lawsuits in the last few years amounted to $20 billion. That's uh, something like uh, eight Mars uh, rover missions. So that's uh, spooling, uh, spooling your money down uh, to the sink. Uh, and uh, well, in reality, so we are here in Europe, although I have heard uh, that uh, Switzerland is not Europe, uh, according to some, <laughs> and uh, not, uh, not that uh, severe as, uh, as Europe. Uh, the number of patents uh, is not, uh, patent suits uh, is not uh, that large uh, here as in Europe itself. But uh, in Europe, uh, they uh, were defeated in Europe, right? Uh, so the parliament said uh, no software patents and uh, we are not America here, so uh, we, are, we are growing the good society and all this kind of stuff. But uh, if you look at uh, the European Patent Office, it still grants uh, the software patents uh, by declaring them computer-implemented inventions. You can, you can put anything there, virtually anything. I've seen patents which are just uh, awful. Nothing computer-implemented, just uh, the piece of software which has been patented here in Europe too. So, patent lawsuits. Uh, I, uh, I've put here the words of Tom Calloway of Red Hat uh, on this slide. What he, have, uh, he has said uh, last year in uh, the Linux conference, I do not overestimate it. Red Hat is not a small company in uh, industry in open source. One good loss on, tri on trial series uh, set of patents could make Red Hat go away. It would be gone. 
So it's really like that. Uh, it doesn't matter which license you use, GPL uh, or uh, any other open source license, it doesn't help you. It doesn't protect you to be uh, to be uh, being sued uh, by uh, by trolls or monopolists or whoever who wants money from you. So, our response uh, to these uh, threats, uh, Open Invention Network. We decided to deal with that uh, in the most practical way we could uh, invent. We use patents. We use patents to protect open source. So this is like uh, using weapons uh, to protect the community. Uh, I was, uh, in, in some other presentations, I use uh, the, the example of uh, Virginia. This is a state in the United States uh, with the most of uh, uh, the fire guns per inhabitant. And they have least Fire crime, uh, fire, fire gun crimes, but uh, I read a week ago that uh, Switzerland has even more fire guns uh, per inhabitant, and there is no crime at all here. So you can compare that uh, with Switzerland in this case. <laughs> we use uh, patents as uh, as weapons against uh, the aggression. So. Uh, Create uh, what uh, what what we use the patents uh, for. Uh, we create a collaborative ecosystem, and uh, we try to defend uh, the community against uh, the external threats, and we discourage attack on the uh, Linux system and the open source in general. Uh, we do not only use uh, patents; we also use defensive publications. You know probably that uh, uh, the principle of prior art: if it's published, it cannot be patented. So uh, we have uh, created the whole platform and we encourage every member and uh, everybody in the world to write defensive uh, publications. If you think that uh, it can be patented, then you better describe it, uh, you put the timestamp on it and there is no chance to be patented anywhere in the world. That's why uh, we use this uh, defensive publication system, <clears throat> just to discourage any patenting of uh, software. And of course, we advocate in uh, lobbying against uh, software patents. That's what we do. How does it work? Uh, there's two-way protection uh, uh, we have employed. We acquire patents ourselves, <coughs> and uh, we use cross uh, Cross licensing by uh, uh, the members. So, members grant each other unlimited usage rights on uh, their patents around Linux system. These are tens of thousands uh, of patents. So, everybody can use it within the community. Everybody who joins in has right to use these patents. And uh, we have our own uh, defensive portfolio of uh, 850 uh, uh, very basic patents around Linux and open source. So uh, saying Linux uh, is not only Linux, but uh, more and more open source but about this uh, a bit uh, further in my uh, presentation. What is uh, OIN? Uh, very short about that. Uh, there were six companies uh, behind that in 2005. IBM, Philips, Red Hat, Novel, uh, NEC, and Sony, uh, who just uh, decided to, to form uh, the pool, uh, the defensive pool uh, around Linux. Uh, they, uh, the, the way of thought was, well, we are spending millions and millions on uh, defending ourselves uh, uh, around Linux. Why don't we put a fraction of this money in uh, some kind of entity which will uh, have the only thing to defend everything about Linux and, uh, and uh, open source. So that's what, what they do since that time. They finance Open Invention Network. Uh, they are full members. They have all the same rights as uh, the rest of uh, the members. Uh, anybody who is joining uh, has the same rights. But uh, they have the obligation to finance uh, Open Invention Network. That's what they have put uh, uh, this on themselves. They just decide we want to put money in it to acquire patents and uh, to finance uh, my trip to burn, for example, this kind of stuff. 
that's, uh, they provide the money. And Google has joined as a full member uh, last year too. So uh, uh, they, uh, they found it uh, pretty much exciting. And uh, Google is uh, going even to bring in uh, uh, lots of Android uh, <coughs> related patents uh, very soon. Go, yeah. Uh, what's, uh, what is uh, Open Invention Network now at this moment? Uh, this is uh, the largest community that pledges Linux and open source patent non-aggression. And at the same time, the biggest patent pool ever formed. Uh, you probably heard about uh, patent pools. Uh, these are companies uh, or other communities uh, gathering and saying, well, we'll cross uh, license uh, the patents uh, uh, to each other and we'll uh, protect ourselves. So the biggest ones are with the hundreds of patents, but we have tens of thousands of them, thanks to IBM, Red Hat, and the bigger members of our community. So we share patents for free and forever. If you join, even if, uh, if there is no OIN anymore, uh, there is no IBM or Red Hat, you still will have the right to use them patents, uh, these patents uh, forever, in perpetuity. If you sign the license, you get them all. We have now uh, 100, oh, 1,100 uh, projects, companies, and nonprofits joined in. And we are growing at uh, the rate of uh, plus minus uh, 40 members per month. And we have hundreds of defensive publications, which I have already uh, mentioned uh, here. More of open source. Uh, we, we have started as uh, Linux defenders. So there was, there was uh, quite a big influence from Red Hat at that time. And uh, uh, we have defended Linux uh, for years. And then uh, we thought, uh, well, we better expand it. And uh, we have acquired lots of uh, basic patents uh, around e-commerce, uh, web technology, PHP, probably well known to you, uh, biometrics and accounting. As I have already mentioned, uh, Android is probably coming very soon. So uh, somebody who is uh, building apps here better join now <laughs> to get them all. About OIN mission, uh, what we do? Uh, we are trying to protect uh, the open source ecosystem. How? We enable, we protect, and uh, we influence. I'll elaborate on that uh, here. OIN as enabler. We obtain patents, we acquire them, uh, we buy the pools of patents, uh, and uh, uh, we provide uh, the free license uh, to every member on uh, these patents. You don't have to pay anything if you join and pledge uh, non-aggression. We give free licenses to everyone uh, who pledges non-aggression. And uh, we help uh, organizations create defensive publications. If uh, you have just an idea, you, have, uh, you, uh, you come to us and uh, we help uh, to create these defensive publications, or maybe tens of them, or hundreds of them, if, if you have that, that many ideas. You can uh, come to us and we'll help uh, to to create defensive publications with you. OIN as protector. Uh, we work to stop patent-related threats uh, to open source. We support members facing patent aggression. We can actively jump in uh, in case of lawsuits. And we deal with uh, problematic patents in the market. Uh, that said, uh, we help uh, patent agencies uh, not to file uh, patents uh, if they are problematic. We are trying to, to show that, well, uh, it was already published, it was uh, already patented, so please do not uh, patent that uh, over and over again. As you can see that in America especially, there are maybe thousands of patents which, uh, which are based on, based on the same invention. and. Uh, uh, they are fighting each other who was the first and uh, what is it about. So we are trying to prevent this uh, too. And uh, we are trying to influence uh, the whole sphere, of course. Uh, we advocate uh, patent non-aggression as a whole. We explain the important importance of uh, open innovation to policymakers. 
in America, in Europe, and elsewhere in the world. And uh, we are trying to create mass, uh, that said, uh, as many members as possible, to show to legislators that uh, open source innovators are opposing uh, software patenting as a whole. And we work with others. You probably know Linux Foundation, uh, Software Freedom Law Center, and uh, of course with the companies uh, and uh, foundations and projects in order to see what's going on in the market, what we have uh, uh, to pay our attention to, and uh, what, what, what's going on uh, in general. Because, uh, well, we accept, uh, for example, uh, uh, the ideas from our members, uh, where do we have to expand uh, the definition of uh, a Linux system? So now the, our definition of Linux system is not only Linux itself, but uh, more and more uh, in open source, and we will not stop uh, until we cover it all, the whole source, uh, the whole open source as a whole. So uh, uh, OAN and you, um, I've seen on the list of the members uh, that there are at least uh, five or six companies already in here. Red Hat, of course. Snowflake. Dominic, are you here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will come and shake hands with you. And uh, Adfinis Group. Here, yeah. Intersys. Yeah, Mark? No. Mark Weber is not here. Oh, oh here, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> All oh, right, <laughs> and uh, Puzzle ITC, and uh, one announcement uh, will come uh, very shortly. So uh, these are companies uh, from uh, your community who have already joined in, and of course I will encourage everybody of you to join in. So, but first, uh, about um, why should you care? As uh, as a foundation, for example, as a nonprofit, uh, so you help to protect others. That's, uh, that's more of, uh, of the community protection. And of course you protect uh, the users of your code. Uh, so the users uh, can use the code which is uh, produced by non-profit. Uh, non-profit itself has less chance to be attacked by, uh, for example, uh, a non-practicing entity. Because, well, non-profits uh, do not have money uh, commonly. So you don't have uh, to tag them to get your money out of there. But the users, uh, the users can, uh, can be attacked. Uh, so again, uh, the, the example of Red Hat, uh, the, the users of Red Hat uh, Enterprise Linux uh, were attacked uh, from outside and they had to pay a uh, uh, fee for infringing patents within the Linux uh, Enterprise Linux of Red Hat. Uh, so it was uh, years ago, uh, a very uh, famous case. Uh, so if you want to protect your users, you better join in. Because uh, if you are not attacked yourselves, your users can be. Why should I care as a business? Uh, protect yourself uh, by getting access to the largest defensive patent pool uh, I have talked about. Avoid trolls, troll nets. You know, troll nets, uh, they are sending uh, thousands of, uh, uh, of letters uh, to everybody and uh, they threaten them uh, with lawsuits and uh, they just uh, try to, to get, uh, well, settlement as they, say, as they call it for a bit of money. And if you threaten thousands of, uh, of people or companies, then you get a little, a little bit of money from everywhere and you are rich. So uh, these are trolls, uh, trolls, and that's as, uh, as they call it. Uh, and uh, well, uh, one more reason is to show your potential investor or existing investor that uh, you are protected. Show that uh, you have an access uh, to the, the large pool of patents. Uh, show that uh, you, can, you have a large community behind you. If you go to the market, to new market or the old market, uh, you can you can show this all. You can uh, show to your investor that uh, you you can protect somehow your share of uh, the market with this simple measure. It does not cost you anything. It uh, only delivers you. It, on, it only gives you some protection. Not all the protection, of course. You cannot be 100% uh, protected, but uh, with OIN, you get uh, lesser chance uh, to be attacked. 
the, the question I hear very often is, uh, what if I do not have any patents? The majority of our members do not have any patent at all. Uh, out of uh, 1,100, uh, maybe 200 have uh, patents, and the rest do not have uh, them at all. But uh, that's, not, uh, that's not about uh, the patents. Uh, it, that's about uh, the community. So everybody is welcome, a non-profit, a project, a company, <coughs> with or without patents. And uh, no matter what you do, or you have or not have, uh, it matters what you pledge, non-aggression. So the idea behind uh, the whole concept is when everybody pledges their non-aggression, or virtually everybody signs uh, the peace pact, there will be no war. That's the idea behind that. So we are now only just about 1,000 uh, members, but uh, when we get uh, 1 million, then uh, it will be the other story, I guess. So we can influence uh, the legislation uh, more easily than uh, we can do now. And uh, very short about uh, why is it important to join uh, OAN sooner ro rather than uh, later. OAN has a program to create and obtain defensive uh, patent assets. Uh, that means that uh, we buy patents. Uh, but on occasion we can sell them too uh, to our members, which are facing aggression. So uh, uh, without any bureaucracy, uh, patents or the whole pools of patents can be sold to, uh, to the member, maybe for a short period of time, maybe forever. And uh, then uh, the member can, uh, can defend itself uh, in the court. Uh, this is uh, the scheme, how it works. But, um, well, if the patents, uh, some outdated patents uh, also sold uh, into the market, not to the trolls, but uh, to the companies uh, like uh, our members to uh, disregard of uh, court um, uh, suits or whatever. Uh, but uh, if, uh, if these patents are sold, then uh, the future members uh, do not uh, have the right to them. But if you sign in now, that every patent which was already in the pool, whether it will be sold or not, uh, you get the perpetual license to that. You can use it uh, till uh, the end of times. So uh, it's better to, to join now than uh, later. So think about that. Uh, I have here the license uh, on paper. You can any time uh, go to our website and uh, sign uh, the digital license, but uh, you can sign uh, now this uh, paper license too. This is quite a lengthy uh, license which was, uh, which was being devised for a couple of years uh, to cover all cases, uh, poss all possible cases. So it's a bit uh, a piece of uh, legal document, but everything what it says is uh, if you join, uh, Open Invention Network uh, itself gives you a royalty-free license to the large pool of uh, OAN uh, own uh, defensive portfolio of patents and patent applications. So uh, together with the applications, that's uh, more than 1,000 uh, at the moment. And it's growing. We are acquiring uh, patents uh, from the market when we can and uh, provide the patent um, royalty-free license to everybody who joins. So that's uh, the first point. The second point, all other members uh, at the moment uh, of speaking uh, 1,100, all of them give you a royalty-free license uh, to their Linux-related patents and patent applications. As I've mentioned, that uh, these are tens of thousands. And in return, you give a royalty-free license to any Linux system patent or patent application to OIN and other members, if you have it. If you don't have it, that's okay too. So if you join, you, you get, uh, you get uh, all these uh, things uh, to protect yourself. What about you? You can uh, sign the license now or go to our website and uh, sign it there. Uh, that's up to you. And uh, well, uh, I'm here around uh, till about uh, four o'clock. You can uh, come to me and ask uh, questions if you do not have a chance uh, to ask questions now. So please start. If there are questions, shoot. 
Yeah, Matthias. Uh, yes, so, so the board of Swiss Open Systems Use Group uh, decided to join the OEM. So we're very happy to announce this today, basically. Where can I sign? Here. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. You read the small print. <laughs> <laughs> How much does it cost? <laughs> Nothing at all. So, anybody else? <laughs> but anyway, you, you can just uh, get my card and uh, get back to me, phone me or mail me anytime. Please. Um, I have a question. I um, already discussed this uh, issue with our IPR management. And I got a reaction uh, which said, be, be patient. Uh, they had the imagination that all the telecom patents of Deutsche Telekom will be embedded into this uh, pool. Mm -hmm. And this is not what the IPR management wants to be done. So, um, is there a chance to become a member of the Open Innovation Network with a smaller set of patents? Or did all the companies have to, do all the companies have to free the complete patent point? Uh, well, uh, first, uh, Deutsche Telekom is not yet uh, the member. Yes, and I think, uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Verizon is, uh, Vodafone is, and Tele2 is the member. But uh, anyway, uh, you don't have to bring in anything. You keep your patents. You just provide the, uh, the royalty-free uh, right to use the patents which read on Linux system only. If you have uh, a revolutionary hair growth system, we don't care. You can sue everybody on that. But first come to me, because I have to try it first. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but uh, for the rest, we don't care. We are Linux and open source protectors. If you have other patents, you do whatever you want with them. We are here to protect Linux and open source. So if you have uh, patents uh, which are reading on Linux system, everything around Linux, you give only the right to use it to other members. And so do they, uh, if they have patents, uh, they provide uh, the license to you. You don't have to bring any patent in. So you keep them all. What does it mean co uh, scoping by Linux? Linux as it stands today or as it stands tomorrow? Yeah. Or well, I mean, it's not Linux is not equal. Linux. Good question, Marcus. Uh, yeah, I uh, I, uh, uh, I was prepared for that. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> there is Linux definition on our website. Uh, so it started uh, like uh, uh, everything about Linux kernel, because our history is uh, Linux defenders. Uh, so we have defined it first as uh, as Linux kernel. Any patent uh, written on Linux kernel was included in uh, in the license, but now we have expanded that uh, to more of open source, uh, uh, like uh, I have mentioned PHP and uh, e-commerce and uh, biometrics. Uh, we are trying to expand it as far as possible into open source. So uh, the recent uh, definition of the Linux system, uh, you can read it on our website. I've, I will send it uh, to you, the link uh, to the definition. It is, uh, uh, the last uh, expansion was made uh, in uh, 2013. So uh, we listen to our members if they say, well, uh, OIN, would you like uh, to expand the definition of, uh, of the system to further into open source? We look at that and say, well, uh, let's try. Then uh, the procedure is we inform every member about the expansion. If you say, well, I disagree, then maybe you have to argue and uh, we don't go with that. But you also can step down and say, well, I don't like it. Uh, I don't like uh, the expansion of uh, the Linux definition into open source. I step down. So uh, there's always uh, the possibility to get out. But uh, there's also the possibility to push uh, the hold button in the license. If you say, "Well, uh, I have a number of license, uh, of uh, I have a number of patents 
uh, or patent applications. I don't know, do I have uh, to provide uh, the royalty-free access uh, to everybody in, within the OIN network? Well, I don't know. So I push the whole button and say, until uh, I get uh, the full clarity about that, uh, nobody gets a hand on, uh, on my uh, future patents. So there's all, all kinds of flexibility built in uh, into the license. Because we want uh, to as many companies and other entities uh, to join. The flexibility is in there. Other questions? Okay, then. Thank you. Gabriel. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.